Are you looking at real estate in Swanee, Georgia? Maybe you're looking to move there. Maybe your budget falls somewhere between a half million dollars to just north over a million and a half dollars. Well, it's your lucky day because today we are going to be looking at homes in the $500,000 mark, $750,000, one million, and just above $1.5 million. Hope you enjoy. I am Rip Pruitt, a realtor in the North Metro Atlanta area, lovingly known as Rip the Realtor. And my channel is all about real estate and life in the Metro Atlanta area. So please don't forget to subscribe and give me a call if you're thinking of moving. All right, so first up, let's talk about what you can get for $500,000 in Swanee, Georgia. Now, so just to give you a little bit of context, $500,000 in Swanee is a little bit on the lower side of what you can get in Swanee, Georgia. You may be able to find some homes just under 500,000, but it's going to be difficult. But you can find a few good homes that are great houses for the $500,000 mark. So let's get into the first example. So we've got this house is listed at 525, just over 2,500 square feet, great size, four bedroom, three bath, great size for a family. You're going to see it's a great solid house, two car garage. It may not have all the bells and whistles, but still a beautiful home. You can see you've got custom trim work coming in. You've got the open concept floor plan. You've even got the separate dining room. It's a decent sized kitchen. You're not going to get a huge chef's kitchen for that price range, but you do have this grand two-story living room. That's awesome with plenty of windows for a great view into your backyard. You've got hardwood floors running through it. So as you can see, it's a great house. Are you going to get all the latest updates? Are you going to get this massive kitchen? No, but you're still going to get a great home. You're going to see that some of it's a little bit slightly outdated. Some of the tile may not be the most trendy tile that you're going to find. Same way with some of the bathroom countertops and the kitchen countertops. The colors, the styles are just a little bit outdated, but you're still getting a great walk-in closet, separate laundry room. It's just a strong house altogether, built well. So again, are you going to get maybe everything you want? Depends on what your wants are, but you're going to get a great, beautiful, solid house for 500,000. And what a great example of this one here for 525, 43, over 2,500 square feet. This one probably won't last too long. Average days on market here recently for Swanee have been about 50 days. That is generally a little bit longer than what we've seen in Swanee. We're going to chalk that up to it's probably some of these interest rates last 18 months tripling, but I do have some active listings in Swanee and we're starting to get a lot more showings on there now that the new year has hit. So things are picking up definitely going into 2024. All right, now let's take it up a step in price. So we just showed you a home at 500,000. Now we're gonna go up to about the 750 range just to see what the difference is between a half million and a three quarter million dollar house. I really like this one. This is a four bedroom, four bath home, over 3,100 square feet, and it comes just under $750,000. See there, I just saved you five thousand dollars you are welcome now here before we get into the floor plan and the beautiful details of this home let me tell you another reason i love this home this is in a community called harvest park it's a pretty new neighborhood there's still new construction going on in it it is in walking distance to swanee town green and downtown swanee i've talked about those areas in videos past but swanee town green is just think of like a downtown area that has been created recently so there's restaurants, shops, farmers markets are held down. There's a big green space with an amphitheater, small concerts, all kinds of great things. So the location of this place is primo. Of course, schools are awesome in Swanee. This is a North Gwinnett High School District. It's a great, great school, top performing school. So let's get into what it looks like. Now, the only downside about the Harvest Park community is they are on small lots. So if you want this big backyard, 
backyard that you want to put a volleyball net in or you want to play baseball in or whatever it may be, this wouldn't be the home for you. Now you can walk just a little bit further down the street and get a huge green space, but if you want that green space at your home, this may not be it. If you want a yard with hardly no maintenance, I got you. It's this one right here. So you can take a look. It's got the more modern style. You've got the craftsman style trim up top in the pitch of the roof. You've got the vertical siding going on on the first level. So you've got all these little things going together that make it just this kind of more modern craftsman style home. The kitchen is awesome. As you can see that you've got an eat in kitchen. You've got the bar top. You've got the exhaust fan kind of anchoring the kitchen with this cool, unique backsplash going on. Here's a closer look at that. So great kitchen. You can see from the last house, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot more up to date. You've got this other part of the eat-in kitchen here too for your like little breakfast nook area. So tons of room for just throwing together uh, a meal for the family and everybody kind of being able to stay together. You've got your walk-in pantry where usually your half million dollar homes are going to have just like the closet style pantry. All the bedrooms are good size. The walk-in closet for the primary bedroom is amazing. It looks like you just walked into a Macy's fitting room. You've got again bathrooms that are updated countertops. You've got this enormous walk-in shower with the window. Not sure what the window's for. Maybe if you want to do a little peeking on your spouse. I don't know. It could be a little creepy. Maybe not. But great master bathroom. You've got your mud room. It's just a great overall house. Great deal for $750 for the location. Again, the lot is going to be just a little tiny postage stamp that you're sitting on. But you're not buying this house for the lot. You're buying this house for the newness of it, the modern offerings the home has, and the convenience of just being able to walk to dinner, walk to a brewery, walk to the playground. Pretty much whatever you want is within about a half mile walking distance in this neighborhood of Harvest Park. So let's take a look at our next house as we jump into the seven digits. All right, so now let's take a look at the jump from the 500,000 at just over 2,500 square foot, 750,000 thousand dollar home for just over I believe it was 3100 square feet now we're gonna look in the seven figures at a million and this one is just over a million at one million and nineteen thousand dollars it's five bedroom four bathroom but you're gonna get over 7600 square feet that's twice the size of what we just looked at that's a big house in case you didn't know so let's take a look at that obviously you're gonna get more details a little bit more luxury instead of something like a front brick house and then the other three sides siding. Once you get in this price range, you're gonna start seeing all four sides of bricks, such as this one. You're gonna start seeing bigger garage, three car garage. You sometimes see a three car garage in that 750, but you're pushing, at least in the Swanee area, you're starting to push more around a million to start seeing that three car garage. Again, you're gonna come in, you're gonna have those stairs right in front. Some people like it. I have clients in that price range. They don't even wanna look at a house. If they walk in and see the stairs, from the front door, they don't wanna look at it. So it's really just your preference. But as you can see, when you walk in, immediately to the right is a flex room. You could use as a formal sitting room. You could use as an office. What I love about it, it's got its own fireplace. It's got a vaulted ceiling with some trim work going across the ceiling to give it a little bit more character. You've got this big dining room. It doesn't look that big in the picture, but you've gotta keep in mind that is a eight person dining table with some big furniture in there. So you could fit more if you need to, you're going to start seeing a little bit more designs in the hardwood, as you can see in the dining room at this price range. You've got the coffered ceiling going on in the main living room with a wall of windows overlooking that backyard. Beautiful stacked stone fireplace. So you can just start to see all the little differences, the little details that they put in this house that you're going to get once you start moving up in price. Even the kitchen, which again is an open concept, you're going to see its own fireplace. So you've got this eat-in kitchen to create this cool ambiance. In Georgia this morning, it was 20 something degrees. So that's where the fireplaces come into play. So we do use fireplaces in Georgia. It may only be about nine days a year, but we do still get to use them. You're gonna start seeing more of a chef's kitchen when it comes to this price point. You can see the double ovens with the inset microwave stacked on top of that. With over 7,600 square feet, you're gonna see this house is gonna get a little bit more creative in using the space. You're gonna have some of these extra rooms. This is a room that's not even in the basement, but you can see it's a double tray ceiling, has like a 
a little mini wet bar over here. You've got some theater style seating in there. It looks like they're just trying to figure out what to do with this room. They've got another vaulted room. You could probably use some of these as bedrooms. Here's another example of what I would guess is an extra room. It looks like they have it as a huge closet, but I'm not really sure if it was intended that way because I'm not seeing any shelves, hardly any places to hang clothes. It looks like they just have a temporary solution for that. So it may just be another room that they said, hey, let's make a big closet out of it because we have over 7,500 square feet. Now, keep in mind, I told you this house is over 7,500 square feet. And as you'll see, that's without the basement being finished as well. So you're probably going to add at least another two or 3,000 square feet by the time you finish this basement. So this is a home you could potentially have over 10,000 square feet. So now, though the size of this home is extraordinary, it's a very big home, especially even just for just over a million dollars in Swanee. Again, it's a North Gwinnett High School District home. I'm really surprised in this price range that there's not a better outdoor area option. So typically in this price range, you're going to see a really cool big back porch. You might even see a fireplace on the back porch. Part of it may be enclosed. They don't really have that going on. Oftentimes in this price range, you may even find a pool or a hot tub built out there. But as you can see, their outdoor space is pretty basic, pretty simple. Just the deck is large. That's nice, but it's not covered. The downstairs is covered, but it's just a concrete slab. So beautiful home on the outside, a huge home, great location. It leaves you, it's a little lacking in what it offers for your outdoor space. But maybe you've got a little bit extra cash reserves. You want to be in this area. It's along a cul-de-sac. Put in that pool, cover that porch, enclose it, whatever you may need to do. But overall, still a great house for just over a million. All right. Now that we've looked at the half million, we've looked at the three quarter million. We've looked at just over a million. Now we want to look at a million and a half. Now, Swanee has not had a ton of inventory. In fact, the entire country of the U.S. of good old A has not had a ton of inventory. So when we got to that 1.5 search, there wasn't a whole lot coming up. So we had to go a little bit north because there are plenty of options once you start getting even higher in the millions. So this one comes at just north of 1.5 at 1.7. It's a five bedroom, five bathroom, just under 5,000 square feet. So not as big as our just over a million dollar home, but what you're going to see the difference in the details of this home. So again, you're going to see all four sides, brick and stone. It's got this mix with just a little bit of a shingle siding, which is cool looking. It's modeled after that cedar shingle look. Again, you're going to have the three car garage. Now the details that we're going to see, you can already start to see you've got, as soon as you come in on the left, you've got that flat flex space be used as an office, could be used as a formal sitting room, but it's got some great built-ins, great coffered ceiling. You're you're even going to see an accent wall with the trim work done. As you can see in this dining room space, you're going to have more updated light fixtures. As you can see, even as we look at the steps and the stair rail, there's going to be a little bit more detail in that rod iron. It's not just going to be straight bars. You're going to have a little bit of a design as you can kind of see these oval type of design going on in the stair rail. Big open kitchen, wall of windows. You've got the room that just shoots off the kitchen that you've got this stacked fireplace going on. Beautiful just the way it flows, the way it's so open. Huge walk-in pantry coming right off the kitchen. Again, as we're talking about details, as you come up the stairs, not only do they have this cool little loft area that divides the bedrooms, but they did a little bit of a level change. Probably wasn't that needed. I'm not an architect, maybe, but if anything, it just gives it this cool aesthetics looks, gives it a cool look with the ceiling. But you can see this loft area, you just got a couple of steps up, just enough to kind of break up the monotony of the floor, but has an awesome wall of windows. It's a great view. You almost feel like you're in the mountains with some of these views. Here's one of my favorite parts about the house. This is the primary bedroom. Look at how massive this thing is. You've got this double tray ceiling going on right here in the main part of the living room where you would put your bed and some of your bedroom furniture. And then you also have a separate tray ceiling just off to the side for your sitting room by your own bedroom fireplace. I love it. I could run laps in this bedroom bedroom. That's a lie. That's just because I can't really run laps. I could run a lap in this bedroom. Let's just put it this way. So you see the master bathroom. The primary bathroom is awesome. Huge open separate tub. Tub almost looks like it's just kind of sitting on an island though. 
that's just right out in the open in between these two vanities. I love the size of the bathroom. I don't know if I like that layout as much, but again, massive room. Here's the views from that loft I was telling you about. Look at that. You're in the city of Swanee. Swanee is not the mountains, but that view looking out from your loft looks like you're in the mountains. I love it. Now, take a look at this basement. I did tell you it was a little bit smaller than the, the million dollar home, but that is almost 5,000 square feet of just the first and second floor. This home has a full basement, so you're gonna get about another 7,500 square foot home, which is huge. The other upside to this property, you're gonna pay a little bit extra money because it's in a neighborhood called Edinburgh. Uh, again, sits in the North Gwinnett High School District, but this is a Bears Best golf course community. So the amenities are not only gonna be awesome, great pool, huge slide for the kids going into the pool, tennis court, all that good stuff, but you also have an award-winning golf course. A lot of people love playing at Bears Best. I've played at Bears Best, or I should say I've swung a golf club all over Bears Best golf course. If you see me play, you may not call it playing, but I try. So that is what you can get for 1.7 in Swanee, Georgia. So if you're thinking about moving to the North Metro Atlanta area, you got any questions, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. Love to help you out. Let me know what you think in the comments and please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Love y'all. God bless.